Hello, welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I am going to show you how you can automatically populate columns, create and update columns, select features, and so much more. So here I have just a random data, cities in the world. We open the attribute table by right-clicking and click on Open Attribute Table. And then to um, populate, you can delete fields by clicking on these. First, you have to toggle editing, yeah, and then you click on delete, you select the fields which you want to delete or not, and then you can add a new field through this method as well. So if you want to um, auto-populate a column, you go to the field calculator, and then if you want to just update the selected features, Populate selected features. You can check this box. If you want to do it for all of it, all of the data, then you uncheck it. So let's say you want to create a column called channel. Channel. You select the data type. This will be a text. You can write anything here. Typically, it's hundred, and then. You write your text in quotation. I want it to show the name of my channel. Special data hub. I end with another quotation. And when you're done, you click on OK. As you can see, it has been populated here. So if you wanted to do it for just the selected features, then it would have just been just the selected features here. So you can also generate an ID column. As you can see, this data set doesn't have an ID column. If you want to generate an ID column, you still open that attribute table. You uncheck this. I want to generate. Okay, let's check it. Let's generate an ID column just for the selected 15 features. So let's call it unique. I'm not sure if this is a ship file so i don't exceed the 10 character length it's integer whatever so on your id you can come here and search id and then under record and attributes you click the id with the dollar sign double click on it for it to appear here and the way you're done, you click on OK. As you can see, it provides an ID for all of these features. Yeah, so if you wanted that for all the features in the data set, then you uncheck that update selected features only. Then if you want to select features based on their expressions, let's say you want to know which cities are in Russia, where country name equals to Russia right country name equals to russia so you select features based on expression you can see where i clicked select features based on expression then go to fields and values fields and values country name double click on country click on equal to and click on all unique it gives you all of the countries you can now come here to search for Russia. Yeah, double click on it and then you click on select features. It's as easy as that. So if you want to select more than one feature, one more than one set of features, then you can click on the drop down here and also say add to current selection. Let's say you want to select features in Belarus, countries and um, cities in Belarus. You can always type this yourself, but just in case, just so you don't make any mistakes, you can see adds to current selection, and that's just it. So you can even come here and say, um, okay, so you can also save these selected features by right clicking on the layer and you see export save selected features as. You select your data type, your package, shape file, or CSV, whatever, and then you select the directory which you want it to be saved. I choose my desktop, 
uh, choosing the random words and every other thing can be left as default add c file to the map yes and then you export so what else for this video um nothing more i'll see you in the next video i hope this helps if you have any questions do well to ask in the comment section and i'll be there to respond to you as well thank you and see you in the next video